know it's worrying me. It's worrying me. Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us today. We're doing Boz Skaggs' Loan Me a Dime, uh, which is a request from a patron. And this is a, a song that was actually written by Fenton Robinson and uh, was later released by him as well. And it's just a wonderful sort of slow minor blues. We're going to take a look at the guitar part on the recording. And uh, it's some nice arpeggios in a sort of a 6-8 feel very Chicago blues electric kind of style and then we'll take a look at some of the soloing um, on this recording Dwayne Allman played uh, the solos and you know it's sort of an epic jam um, I think the original recording was like 40 minutes or something and they whittled it down to like 15 minutes so check out that recording uh, Dwayne Allman you know legendary player who, who uh, wasn't with us for too long but this is a great recording of his as well so uh, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out the tab on the Patreon if you're interested. Other than that, let's jump on in. All right, so we've got some things that can make this a little tricky. Uh, so we're going to go over a little bit about what a 12-bar blues is, what a minor blues is, and also how we can play with a 6-8 feel, even if it's in 4-4. This song is in 4-4. Four, four. One, two. We're playing triplets, eighth note triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two rhythms going on at once, six, eight, and four, four. So that can be a little tricky. So um, we'll go over note for note what's happening on on these on these arpeggios, and then uh, we'll, as we do it, we'll sort of explore the twelve bar blues form. So we're going to start with. Let's start with the with the verse, and we'll come back to the intro, which is just the turnaround. So right when the lyrics start, we're going to do A minor for a whole bar. And we're going to do 5th fret on the first three strings. Okay, so all we need is that. You could do a whole bar chord if you, if you want, but I tend to avoid bar chords if possible. And the recording has just this, these three strings of, on the 5th fret, which is like an A minor first inversion triad. So we're going to go 5th string, open, and then third, second, first, second, third. And that's two beats right there. One, two. One, two. So if we do that twice, that would be a whole bar. One, two, three, four. Okay? So that's the first bar of this 12-bar blues. Now the second bar goes to the four chord, which is very common in blues. Uh, it's not as common as just staying on the one chord for four bars, but it happens a lot. So now we're going to go to D minor, and we're going to do a D minor triad. Seventh, sixth, fifth frets. And we're going to hit the fourth string and do the same exact rhythm. One, two, three, four. Okay, that would be the simplest version, but you could do uh, what Boz Skaggs does a little bit, where on after we go like that, he goes... Uh, it's like a slide down a fret and back up. So it would be... And then you're back on the arpeggio. Okay? That's all tabbed out on the Patreon if you want. Then we go back to the one chord. But now we're going to do our walk down. So one, two. Then we go to sixth fret, fourth string. Which is like a, a, basically an A minor over G sharp. Now we go down to G, same thing, A minor over G, now to the 4th fret and you're going to bar the 5th frets with the middle finger. Okay, so to recap, from A minor, G sharp, G, and F sharp. Now if you want, you can 
walk up to the to the four chord by going open fifth string, third fret, and then D. Because now we're in our fifth bar. So let's run those first four bars. One, two, three, here we go. minor, so this is the fifth bar of the 12 bar blues. This is where the four chord happens for two bars. And then at the beginning of this second bar, we can do that little slide. That's two bars. We're going back to the, now the A minor walk down. So we're going to do that for two bars. G sharp. Okay, now we're at what's called the turnaround, and the turnaround in minor blues is slightly different. These are all minor chords, not A dominant, D dominant, right? So for a minor blues, we often will go to what's called the flat six, and that in this case is an F major. So that's what we do here. We're going to go F. Now I like to do the uh, major seven sometimes with open first string. But I think on the recording, actually, it's it's barred on the first fret, first string. So either one. Let's do the barred version. Just to bar that. Now, a bar of the four chord, D minor 7. And then back to one chord. Four chord. One chord. And the final bar is E7. And we kind of just hammer onto the first fret third string for the five chord. And that completes it. So let's do the last four bars there. All right? One, two, starting in the F, four, six. Here we go to the four chord. form repeats even though it's a 14 minute song that that 12 bars repeats every every time so there's no variation um, so hopefully that's clear enough right there and we can talk further about um, how to solo over this before we do though just so you know the intro right before um, the form starts in the beginning is just the, the last two bars of the blues so it would be G A D minor A minor E and then we have an organ solo and then Dwayne Allman plays a solo and then the lyrics start just so you know so what's happening with the guitar solo well with a with a minor blues we can basically milk the minor pentatonic <laughs> So you'd want to review A minor pentatonic in all five positions. Here's the box. And this is the first position, so this would be a good one. Add the flat five. You can also do the, uh, the position up here, position two, position three. Position four and, and position five, and then you're back at position one up here. So you'd want to milk all that. When we go to the four chord, you can still play over the A minor pentatonic, but now you can do D minor pentatonic. Back to the one chord. What about the the when it goes to F? You could do F, but it kind of works well to just keep, either stay on the A minor or even D minor because D minor is the relative minor of F. So and then back.
back to one. When it goes to the five, we can basically really highlight that five root, which is an E, say here or here, because we're only on it for a bar, so there's not much time. I would just highlight that five root. So point is, we want to really milk the minor pentatonic in A and, and in D. And when it goes to F and E, you can highlight those roots if you want. But generally, you're going to want to do a lot of bending, vibrato, because when it, with a slow blues, we want to have sort of a vocal melodic quality. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if there's any questions, and enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. Uh, looking forward to seeing you next lesson. And uh, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell and the thumbs up. Take care, everyone. Bye.